What a beautiful day it is at People's Park here in Chengdu, China. I tell you what, one beautiful thing about traveling in China is that whatever kind of travel experience you want to have, whether it's big cities, you got it. If it's beautiful nature, you got it. If it's some truly old and ancient and deep history, you got it. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos everything China travel related. And today's video is all about answering some important questions. When will traveling to China be allowed? Is it safe? And what are some obstacles to traveling to and in China? First question I'm going to answer is when will China's travel ban be lifted? Right now, you're only allowed to enter the country for work or humanitarian reasons. Some people hope that by winter 2022, when the Beijing Olympics are supposed to be held here, that the borders will be open by then. One good sign in that direction is that on June 19th, the Chinese government announced that it had vaccinated over a billion people. Another good sign in that direction is as of July, Chinese travel agencies have been able to resume almost all of their normal tour operations. But when the borders do open up, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for travel and cheap travel. My mother, who has traveled to 60 countries and six continents, recently came across a Travel Zoo China deal. The travel deal is for 2022 and 2023, and it is the cheapest travel deal my mother has seen in her life. It's just $299, and that's including everything from meals to flights to hotels. Needless to say, that travel deal sold out quick. The next question I'm going to answer is, is China safe? Right now, it is a level one travel notice for the CDC, which means that it's safe. I've been here through the entire pandemic, and since April 2020, cases have basically pretty much leveled out. Since the original outbreak, China has been extremely cautious in its approach to the virus. The next question is, what are the obstacles to traveling to China? In a normal period, there's a lot that's required to get a Chinese visa, but in COVID times, it's a lot more. The first thing you need to have is the Chinese Sinovac vaccine. However, passengers with Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, as well as Pfizer vaccines have been accepted into China. You need to show a negative PCR as well as a negative antibody test taken 48 hours before travel. But that means 48 hours before your specific flight going into China. I had a colleague that went back to the States during the original outbreak and was trying to get back into China for months. He said that he needed four or five COVID tests. 72 hours before his flight into China. But his flight to China was from London and he had to fly from the States to London first. So making that 72 hour window was extremely close for him. And he said he almost wasn't able to board his flight to China. And another thing is quarantine. Right now entering China requires 14 days quarantine, which you have to pay for by yourself. And this costs between 60 and $100 per day. Some regions even require a 21-day quarantine. However, if you're coming here for work, your job might offer to pay for the quarantine period. So to sum up, there's a lot unknown and there's a few obstacles to traveling to China at the moment. But it's safe and when the borders open up, you are going to get a lot of bang for your buck coming here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Right now, I'm making China travel videos every week, so be sure to hit that bell and not miss a video. See you next time for the next China adventure. Bye-bye.